Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back. Um, I apologize last Friday we didn't have a Facebook Live to do to um, people being out of the office, but we're back again and today we're going to do facials versus peel and we're actually going to be performing a peel today. Um, I definitely think there's some misconceptions about peels and what it does. You know, one of them I've always heard is, oh, it burns my face, my, my skin's going to peel off. Um, and what do facials do? That That's what I really want, a facial... And here at the Center Self Medical Spa, um, we actually prefer to do peels over facials just because they're more of corrective than they are um, what we like to call fluff. So Kat is here today and she's doing um, a peel on Tiana. And um, I actually get to introduce Tiana because she is one of our new master estheticians and laser techs. So how cool is that? So here we go, ladies. How are you guys? Good. Cat. We are going to be performing the gloss peel on Tiana today, which is an awesome overall peel for if you feel like your skin is dull, kind of retexturized, pigment, has some TCA in it, salicylic, you will peel from it. Um, usually starts 24 to 48 hours after mm -hmm. application, and you can peel up to like two to five days. Everybody differs. So I know one of the questions I always have for both of you is, what is a facial? And what does a facial do? And what does usually a peel? What does a peel? And what does a peel do? So let's start with facials. What so are facials? facials are good for someone that's looking to come in and relax. Um, we're going to cleanse the skin. We're going to exfoliate the skin. We're just going to use quality products that they might not get to use at home every day. So we're going to use a little bit different products, but we're going to include like a massage and just a little bit of a relaxation to their. You know. So is a facial kind of like in a nice way of deep cleaning? Yeah, yeah. It's good exfoliation. Yeah, it's a great exfoliation. It's a deep cleaning. We can do a mask if they're just feeling a little bit dry, if they're red. Um, it's just for them to come in and relax and just get some treatment to their face that they don't usually have. Now, are facials kind of good like for you who's getting married? Is someone like facial good for maybe like a week or two weeks prior to, to a, like a big event? Yeah, facials are great, especially if people are going through some stressful things like planning a wedding mm -hmm. like I am. Um, we can have breakouts, our skin is really dry. It's just constantly changing. So when you're coming in doing a facial, we can alter it to what you're looking for. Um, and just make sure that we're giving you that benefit. So a moisturizing um, mask or, you know, a stimulator peel that's included in our facial that just gives you a little bit more stimulation um, to help with what you're looking for. And you could even add on like the uh, the threes or the the skin better science when we did yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. Yep. the lift. Which yep. Is really so cool. we yeah we, yeah in the mask. Yeah, the lift people mask have misconceptions about the peels because they hear the word peel and they're afraid that they're going to peel, but mm -hmm. we can it's use gentle acids yeah. too. Lactic so, comes from milk. Glycolic. So we now know what facials are. They're kind of a deep cleaning mm -hmm. with exfoliation. But so Kat, explain to me what a peel is then. What does a peel, there's type, different types of peels I know. There is. I mean, they call it peels because it is acid, but you could come in for a glycolic peel where you don't necessarily peel, but you get a deeper exfoliation. Or you could come in for a lactic peel. That's from milk. And you don't peel. Or what we're going to do on Tiana today has some TCA in it. It has salicylic, and she will experience peeling after. So there's degrees of peeling that we can do. And why does the peel, like, why does it, I hate to say it, peel. Why does it peel? What what does it do? Like, does it take off the first layer of the skin to give it so, new skin? Like, so the that. ways that peels differ from, okay, so there's a manual exfoliation, which is like a scrub, and there's a chemical exfoliation, which is our peel. So we have chemical enzymes. So it can be an enzyme or acids that are, chem, that are, um, like, how would you explain it? Yeah. Chemically exfoliating the skin. So that's why you get the peeling and stuff. So instead of a scrub, it's chemically exfoliating it. So but whenever it's, it. yeah, so whenever it's peeling, you get a little frosting. Um, in some cases, that's just a good sign to us that it's really getting um, to where it's supposed to be to help regenerate those new skin cells. So instead of a manual, it's just a, it's, um, a chemical. And I know sometimes peels are good for patients who have acne as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't expect any frosting with her with this peel. Rats! I know Sheena <laughs> wants to see frosting. I love when it, your whole face turns white. Mm-hmm. Do I can smell that. Yeah, so most of these peels don't have the best scent, but that's okay. And if someone was coming in to do this peel, it's called the gloss peel, and mm -hmm. it's $200. I'm just going to experience some peeling in like what 48 hours 24 to 24 to 48 mm -hmm. hours and it can last I mean depending on your skin it can last three to five days 
And one of the things I know I have learned from doing peels is to never pull the peel. Just mm -hmm. let it come off itself. And Kat is giving me a really nasty look right now. Mm -hmm. if you guys, if you just saw her look. You can cause hyperpigmentation by forcing that skin off. So that's one thing is just a caution, warning, warning. Do not touch the peeling because that will cause some um, hyperpigmentation, which mm -hmm. means discoloration in your skin. And then Kat's got to fix it like she did with mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't want that. Now, explain to me, this might be another one, and I know we've done, we're doing facials with peels, but what would be a difference between having a laser procedure done and a peel? Mm -hmm. So it, it just depends. Kat and I get this question every day, and we like to explain to people that there's a couple differences that we like to keep in mind when we're giving people options for treatment. Cost is mm -hmm. one. Um, downtime, which meaning how much time do they want of peeling? How much time do they want of redness? Um, so we give them those factors and sometimes we have our go-to's, especially for lasers, we have our go-to for pigment, um, rejuvenation, you know, and some people are kind of just turned off to the idea of lasers because they think that they're just more extreme. Um, but lasers have a faster delivery. Um, they have quicker have no results. Yeah, lasers. no downtime. Um, it's just... It's what's, what's in the patient's budget and yeah. what's best for their customization. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes I know you guys will do peels and lasers at the same yeah. time. Yeah, yep. Peels will focus, too, on more of your surface area, you know, the mm -hmm. top of your skin. And some of our lasers that don't have downtime, like the Picosure, will actually um, heat your skin to create collagen. Mm -hmm. So it kind of delivers more heat. So is this is really gonna. A is it, so it's really gonna peel off and really kind of create mm -hmm. new cells and yep. kind of a new layer of skin. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. gonna look smoother, brighter, mm -hmm. tighter, possibly. So, so a good thing that we like to do sometimes is appeal before lasers because every single one of us have dead skin, um, and a lot of times we need a good exfoliation before we can get to the new skin, which is the skin we want to treat. We don't want to be treating the top layer. Um, so if we do a peel first, it kind of gets your skin prepared for the laser treatment and then you just get a deeper penetration of results. Now, I want to kind of quickly talk about acne and peels. So mm -hmm. what can a peel do for, peel do for acne skin? So I like to treat acne first with products. Yeah. Get under yeah. Control. Mm -hmm. And then it can help with rejuvenation, scarring, and, mm -hmm. and then again, you can pick lasers, you can pick peels. We do have an actinage peel. It has salicylic in it that will help clear up acne, but that would be the only peel that I would do with any kind of acne, you know, active acne. And we do have a pretty big um, following right now, so if you guys have I'm any feeling. questions, okay. you know, feel it free. Um, it's a little tingly, but it's not bad. Like a scale one to five, like, what tingly is that? Two. A two. Mm -hmm. And you can see she's going to probably get red the rest, the rest of it. She's going to mm -hmm. get a little pit, little... Mm -hmm. Look like a little apple a little bit. <laughs> and the great one with this is she'll get a post care kit. So she'll get a, a cleanser, she'll get her soothing complex, and she'll get her sunscreen and you'll get instructions for like three days how to use them. Mm -hmm. The products last longer than three days. You can continue to use them. So is this it? Are you done? I'm going to do a retinol wipe. We're going to let this soak in for a minute and wipe her with Ooh, retinol. That's it. That's it. It's very easy. Yeah. Wow. In and out and you leave um you leave the peel on when we wrap it when we wipe it with the retinol wipe. Um, we'll leave the peel on for six to eight hours. We'll give you a time when you can go home and wash, and we give you um, a paper to take These home with all the, the instructions. Yeah. Are included. So, so let's we'll talk about go these. Home with this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. In okay. this, you'll get your, your so what is cleanser. That? So it's a gentle anti-redness cleanser, and you'll also get sunscreen, and then you'll get your soothing complex. And we'll give you instructions exactly how to use it, and you'll use this for three to four days. Mm -hmm. And I, I do hear this lasts longer, so if you want more moisturizer, the cleanser lasts a little bit longer, it's okay to continue to use it as well. So that's why this peel is a little more, let's say, expensive than some of our half hour custom peels, mm -hmm. which are 90, because you do get the products with it. Whereas the customs usually, Correct. it's just the peel. Oh, and you, most, you'll go home with some retinol wipes too, which retinol is a peel in itself. So when mm -hmm. you're applying those at night, you're intensifying that peel as well. You do that at home. Wow, okay. You're getting lots of likes. <laughs> so the, the home care kit really just helps penetrate the product and then it gives you a nice soothing effect after you're washing your face after the peel. So Kat, I'm going to quickly kind of go over this and Tiana, I'm sorry that I'm going to point out some of the flaws. Mm -hmm. So quickly, so this might help, you know, with these kind of, will mm -hmm. it help with her brown spots here? It will. 
Okay. That along with the corrective products. Mm -hmm. Right. What about this? You know, she's got a little icy, like kind of redness a little bit, maybe um, some spots. Will we that help clear it up? We were just talking about her redness. We were actually thinking about doing um, an elite vein treatment on her maybe mm -hmm. at one point. Yeah, so we like to we like to look at people's skin, especially cleansed, because sometimes redness is diffuse redness, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's like capillary, so little spine vein or spider veins. So there's a difference between the redness that some people and experience. So and I've also noticed are... too right here, she's got a little melasma, so that's mm -hmm. gonna help clear that up. Mm -hmm. You're like me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right on the op upper lip. Yep. What else? And it's so important. People think that they just need to do peels, but in between, you have to be using your corrective products mm -hmm. or you will undo what we are doing. Yep. So at home, I'm using um, our Norma Cleanse. I'm using the Melamin to help with the pigment, and I'm using our Daily Power Defense. So I'm definitely using the products at home just to try and help with what we're doing every day with our product or with our um, Which will peels. Help enhance this result. Mm -hmm. Enhance it and um, make the results last longer. Which is great, mm -hmm. since you have a wedding coming up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to be in Mexico, so I'll be in the sun a lot. i got to get these sunspots taken care of before and we go. Sunscreen. sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Lots of sunscreen. So let's do just a quick wrap-up. So facials are kind of more of a deep cleaning and exfoliation. Yep. Mm -hmm. Great if you just want to do something kind of relaxation. Mm -hmm. Maybe in between treatments. In between just mm -hmm. to give you a little more of that spa pampering type mm -hmm. of thing. Now peel is more of a corrective, so it takes brown spots, redness, um, melasma, yeah, it helps scarring, with, tightening. Yep, dullness in your skin. And this is a better price point. So if this is something that, oh, you can't, you know, maybe not do that 2500 laser mm -hmm. procedure, this might be a better solution for you, that $200 peel, or if you can't even maybe does have cut products, you guys again, so mm -hmm. much of the products, and maybe you're like, mm, 200 might be hitting my max. So we have, custom peels. So we have the custom mm -hmm. peel that's mm -hmm. more around $90. So that might be a better price point for you guys. Um, so again, thanks, Jana, for volunteering. <laughs> so no shout out. And this is it. Like, this, it doesn't even look really like easy. so easy. No. You go home and just. Correct. Yep. Just go home and, and wash it, never it off felt at night. Really and it looked. To. No, and I want to no. point out, you guys, like, look, she doesn't even look like she, she's had a peel on. Mm -hmm. So she can go she's out. She's just going to look a little shiny today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, washes it she off. can go to the grocery store. There's yeah. not, like, this is awesome. Like, people won't even know. Now, will you have, she does have her eye makeup on still because mm -hmm. we don't do it in her eyes. But, I mean, yeah, you, you might not have some foundation on, but nope. other than that, it's not a big deal. And she's going home for the weekend, so she'll mm -hmm. start peeling a little. And maybe we'll do a wrap up at the end of the week to see where yeah. you're at. Yeah, she's yeah. really glowing. And again, Tiana, she's one of our master estheticians and laser techs here. So say hi to everyone. Hi. <laughs> and she can do um, everything that Kat does. So yeah. if you're interested in doing a laser appeal, mm -hmm. body contouring, anything like that, you can come see Tiana. She is here Monday through Friday, as well as Kat is. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that's it for today. Pretty simple and easy, um, but definitely a misconception that a lot of people have is what are peels, what are facials, and what they do for you. Um, I do need to announce our VIP Spring Fling winner. So that winner is, drum roll, you guys aren't doing my drum roll very oh, good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the drum roll is Jennifer Knefley. So you are our winner. Congratulations. Um, you will get an exclusive VIP bag, so make sure you call in with your address and phone number and we will make sure that we have that for you at spring fling and um if you guys haven't signed up already make sure you sign up bring your girlfriend spring fling is may 11th um from four to eight so we hope to see you there and we'll be back next friday um i will let you know on wednesday what we're doing and i believe on may 23rd is that a friday may 23rd maybe not i don't remember but we do have a breast dog surgery coming up so that is coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. And um, we hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye, guys. See you later.